Do you want to strengthen your pelvic floor? I sure hope so. Over the last 20 years, I've been working to develop my own unique techniques and methods to teach women how to safely and effectively strengthen their pelvic floor, which also means that can help you have a stronger core as well as help to say goodbye to aches and pains. So I sure hope you'll join me for these three exercises. So hop on down to your mat and let's get started. So the first exercise I want to teach you is all about bringing more awareness to your breath because breath is super important to help you wake up and properly strengthen your pelvic floor. So for starters, I want you either sitting on your mat like this, or if it's really hard to sit like this, I encourage you to sit at the edge of a chair so that you can feel the base of your pelvic floor against something. And I want you to also understand your pelvic floor, like think of it as a diamond, okay? It runs from the front of the pelvis, the pubic bone, all the way back to your tailbone and then sits bone to sits bone. So you can kind of wiggle around those four points and you're right up on top of your pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor, ladies, is also the base of your deep core and it all functions together as one, which is why our breath is so important. So for starters, what I want you to do is just slowly breathe in through your nose and breathing down, if you can, all the way down into your pelvis. And as you exhale gently, I want you to think of those four points, drawing them lightly together, and exhale just zipping on up all the way through the top of your head. So this helps to wake up and activate your pelvic floor as well as your deep core, and you should also feel your lower abdominals start to work a little bit too. So we'll do that again. Inhale, breathing deep down into your pelvis. Exhale, visualize those four corners coming together and exhale, zipping up and growing taller. You can visualize like you've got a string coming out through the top of your head. So as you practice this, you're gonna become stronger and more connected through your entire torso and core and also can help your posture. So as we move into the next exercise, what I want you to think of is we're gonna use the same idea with your inhale, breathing down into your pelvis, and exhale is you're going to be that key that helps you to activate your pelvic floor very gently. So moving into exercise number two, we're gonna roll on back, or you can go from your side to your back, whatever is most comfortable for you. And we're gonna move into pelvic tilts. And pelvic tilts can seem like a very simple basic exercise, but they actually can give your body a ton of feedback. So what you wanna think about, and it can be helpful to place your hands on your pelvis. As you inhale, I want you to allow your pelvis to arch, but only go as far as it feels okay for your body. We don't ever wanna move into pain, okay? So stay out of any pain. As you exhale, you're drawing those four points together and connecting up through the pelvis and just gently allowing that pelvis to tilt back. Your back may or may not, touch your mat. If it does, just make sure you're not pushing into your mat. We wanna feel this energy going all the way up through our body more so. Then as we inhale, we wanna allow our pelvis to arch. If we get a little arch in our low back, we wanna feel like we're creating space through the hips and through the pelvis. And then exhale, it's pelvic tilt, so we're connecting with that pelvic floor, lower belly. There is no activation here in your glutes or your hamstrings, so watch. If you're wanting to grip those glutes, you're not actually activating your pelvic floor correctly. So we wanna let those glutes relax. Inhale, and we arch. And exhale, we're zipping up gently, and then we're feeling this connection, hopefully, all the way up through the top of the head. And if you don't feel it today, that's perfectly normal and okay. Just with practice, it will come. So the third exercise I wanna teach you is just placing your arms off to the side here. We start with a pelvic tilt. So this exercise is a part of hip rolls. So we start with that pelvic tilt. So we're activating with our breath, the deep layers of our core. And then when our low back is touching, we have to start to lift our hips. That's when we start to activate our glutes and our hamstrings. And we're gonna slowly peel up one vertebrae at a time. When we get to the top, I want you to hold on an inhale. So you're inhaling, you're holding. As you exhale, you're slowly rolling down one vertebrae at a time, articulating your spine and engaging your abdominals and pelvic floor lightly to help to control you all the way down. When we get to the bottom, we're back to that pelvic tilt. We inhale, we relax and release through our hips, through our pelvic floor, and then we exhale, we connect again, pelvic tilt first, slowly peel up one vertebrae at a time, hopefully starting to wake up that lower abdomen, pelvic floor. This is really good to get that weight off of your pelvic floor as well. Inhale to hold, exhale nice and slow, articulate rolling down one vertebrae at a time. 
And on your last one, so you're gonna do 10 of these, I want you to think about keeping a little bit of a connection through your deep core as you go to either roll up or roll to your side, okay? Because that's a great way, this is a great way, great exercises to do to warm up um, before your workouts or do at the beginning of the day to just remind your body, your pelvic floor, your deep core to be on. It's gonna help you to feel better, feel more energized, and help to say goodbye to those aches and pains. Gone are the days of learning how to ineffectively strengthen your pelvic floor with Kegels. Instead, I want to offer you my free pelvic floor guide, which you can find on my website at ericazeal.com forward slash pelvic floor. You're going to find step-by-step -step instructions with my cueing of how to safely and effectively strengthen your pelvic floor, which can just set you up for such better success and health from now moving forward. Again, you can find that on my website at ericazeal.com forward slash pelvic floor.